Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I have made a mistake, I dropped it. <gasps> like it definitely wouldn't have been something I would have picked out a year ago. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you can't see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I'm doing another haul. This one is actually from The Plant Point who very kindly sent me these plants. So I was doing my regular search for a fern leaf hat. I know I have one in there that I'm propping, but like I just still really, really, really desire to have like a big, big one. And so I've been checking semi-regularly online to try and find one. And like I really haven't seen that many in the UK for sale, but I found one on the Plant Point, which is a UK plant seller. And I went on their website and it, it was a bit of a misunderstanding. I was a bit confused by their site because it made it seem like I could only collect it and they're, I think, leads based. So I could only collect it and not get it shipped. I figured maybe because it's a big plant or whatever. Sometimes that happens. I don't know, I was confused. So I posted all my stories um, saying, anybody in Leeds want to go pick up this plant and ship it to me, I'll pay for everything. And they responded back saying, we ship. <laughs> We'll ship to you. Um, and I was like, oh, amazing. And then, oh, actually, do you want to do a haul? So, long story long, actually. <laughs> Whatever. But basically, they said they wanted to send me a bunch of plants to open and share with you, um, including a friendly cactus. So, this is what arrived. heavy too. Oh my goodness. It is massive, and I'm so so excited to get stuck into it. The only thing I know is in here is the fern leaf. Everything else they sent me is a mystery because I figured why not um, have a little bit of a fun mystery plant haul. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous and scared and I have not ordered with them before but I'm excited to see what they've got. Before I do though, I should say, if you're new here and you don't know me already, hi, my name is Emma and I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanty journey and maybe learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I hope you enjoy this video as well. <sighs> right, okay, let's open this. Oh, I mean, it's just a single piece of tape. Um, I should mention though, right off the bat, there's loads, oh, hello, Cleo. <laughs> there is loads of like live plant this way up stickers and fragile stickers and it was sent via parcel force. I don't know if that's their normal shipping method, but that's what it was sent with. And I think their packaging is quite good. It's quite a heavy box. Um, so we will, we will see. Already, we've got some stuff popping out. So a little plant point postcard with like a thank you and we'd love to hear your feedback. And then these, oh, oh my goodness. I don't know, let me put this box down so I can actually like see what is in here. But these are some sort of moss pole, Cleo. <laughs> Cleo's literally shredding the box right now. <laughs> she loves to shred boxes. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cleo, can you do this after? I'll let you have full reign of the box afterwards. <laughs> so, these are moss poles. They're like I think they're the D-shaped kind. I've never seen these ones. They look kind of like growth thickly ones, but I'm not positive if that's what they are. If there's a sheet in here that says, I will let you know. But they're just the kind that you can like fold. And this one actually looks adjustable, which is cool. Cause I've only seen these ones 
where there's just like one slot in the back, but there are four different sizes you can put it in. Which means you can make it like thinner, like as thin as that, or thicker if you want to have a super thick moss pole. Um, anyways, it it's super, <laughs> super cool and super sweet of them to include all of these. So I've got two big ones as well as a skinny small one, like a super small one, and three medium ones, which is so freaking cute and so sweet. And I feel like, oh, I've got so many moss holes to make. This is gonna be great. And then from there, I think it's just plants. You can see they've got the packing peanuts, the normal packing peanuts, and then their plants are wrapped up in paper. And like I said, I don't know what a lot of these are. So I guess I'll just go for it. Oh. So this one says Ripsalis on it, which makes me think it's probably a Ripsalis. But what type of Ripsalis? I don't know. And y'all know I'm super into my jungle cacti right now. And like, I think they knew that because I was obviously wanting a fern leaf. Oh my goodness, this is a thick plant. Like, do you see this? Okay, let me see if I can open this easily. It's on a hanger in here. Oh my goodness, this is huge! <laughs> oh, it did lose a couple strands, but I'm not surprised by that because, like, they're a little bit fragile um, in general. Oh, no, Cleo, no, Cleo. These aren't toys for you, baby. These aren't Cleo toys. <laughs> no, thank you. Not for you, baby. Not for you. <laughs> she really wants it. Um, holy freaking cow. Um, yeah, just a couple of ones falling off, but I, oh, there's so many on here that it can afford to lose some. This is insane. And like, it's super duper, like waxy and thick. But holy cow, um, I am so looking forward to this. This is crazy, crazy beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is such a good start. I'm literally gonna have to go hang this up somewhere, like immediately, because I don't want Cleo to touch it because it's so pretty. One second. Oh my God, what an amazing start. <laughs> holy cow. Okay, next up. Okay, so if you couldn't read that, it says Dubia! And y'all know I've been struggling with my Dubia for ages. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty! Ah! Oh my god. Look at that! And it's so much taller than the plank as well. Oh my goodness! <gasps> it is stunning! Oh my god, okay, Cleo's very interested. Holy cow! Yeah, holy cow! <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, immediately, immediately, I'm gonna have to extend this plank. Um, oh, oh my goodness. I'm like, obsessed with this. And I'm, I, sh I, I need to get an extension for this ASAP. Oh, cause it's so pretty. And like you can see, it's just a little bit sad once it goes off the pole. 
but it really needs something to shingle up. So I'm going to sort that out, hopefully ASAP. But oh my goodness, I've wanted one of these for so long. It's so pretty. Also, sorry if you can hear Cleo, she's running around with like paper and stuff. But that's part and parcel of having a cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got a uh, little one here. This is a Chrysula. Don't know what type of Chrysula. But I'm pretty sure that's a cacti or succulent type. <gasps> I have made a mistake. I dropped it. Because I was trying to dump out... Oh my goodness, I don't know if you could see that on film, but I'm trying to dump out the like packing peanuts from in here and I dumped the entire plant out. So I'm gonna need to repot this one ASAP, but like, look. So I think this is a Chrysula Buddha's temple, maybe. Oh my gosh, it's, I just thought it was, oh my, whoa. Look at these little like leaves. They're like so tiny and packed together. They're so beautiful. This is so funky. I'm so terrified that I'm gonna kill this. But hopefully now with like my new succulent cacti regime, putting it in semi-hydro, I mean, I've essentially unpotted it just now, um, which is which is entirely my own fault. Um, but hopefully I can keep happy. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I do feel bad about um, literally dumping it out though. Okay. Oh my goodness, there's so much in this box. Holy freaking cow. Okay, let's do this one. Because it's easy to pull out. This one. It says monkey on it with a smiley face. Monkey. The only thing I can think of is like a monster monkey mask. Like an Adamsonii? <laughs> Maybe? <gasps> oh my god, no, it's better, it's better, it's better! <gasps> I'm trying to get it open. It's a Monstera monk- not Monstera, uh... A monkey tail cactus oh my goodness okay so the first time I saw this I didn't care for it at all so Claire got one at one point when I was at hers and I was like not my favorite thing in the world but it has like slowly really grown on me because I always thought that these would be like super spiky but they're actually kind of fuzzy like they don't actually stab you like a cactus would Oh my goodness, this one is so long. Oh my God, it is, so oh, that's okay. <laughs> I can repot this one as I've got a single tail. These are gorgeous and so fun. Like, look at that. It's just so weird. And I, like, it definitely wouldn't have been something I would have picked out a year ago. But I really freaking love it now. And this is an epiphytic cactus as well. A jungle cactus. So I can treat it in the way I treat all of my other jungle cacti. And, like, my fishbone and my ripsalis and my lapispium. I can treat it similarly to that. And it's fine with humidity. Oh, yes. That is so cool. It looks so funky. I love it. It's so weird. So weird and wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so there's two more plants in this, or there's one more plant in this box, which I think is probably the fern leaf. Um, but then there's also this like package. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm stuck. I think it's a thing of sphagnum moss. 
can see in that little hole. I think this is just a parcel of sphagnum moss. It is! Oh my god, it's for the moss poles! How freaking sweet is that? Oh! <laughs> I feel so lucky! I am so lucky! Amazing! This is heavy too. There's a lot of moss in here. <laughs> oh! They literally wrote best one on here because they knew how much I freaking wanted this. But they also sent one more thing. Okay, I'm gonna open that first and then I'll save the friendly to last because I'm so excited about it. So they also, this came with it and it's from them as well. I've taken the address off so you won't see my address. But I know it's from them because that's what it said on like the return address. But I have no idea what this could be. I doubt it's a plant because it's in like a tube. So it'd be a very odd plant to put in a tube. That's so sweet. Holy cow, that is so cute. I love the color as well. And like, I love my plasticky ones, but they get so dirty. Oh my goodness, is that not so beautiful? Look at that. It just says the plant point on its little strap around. But yeah, I've been thinking about getting a cloth one for a while now because they are so stunning. Oh my goodness! I guess that wouldn't have fit in the box so they had to send it in the tube. <gasps> I am being absolutely spoiled! Now it's time for the fern leaf! You ready? My goodness so I think it's gonna take a minute to like settle down because it needs to like relax after being like upwards for so long but oh my goodness look how big that is I love it so much I am so beyond excited and like grateful and thankful for all of these like I am like so lucky but on I was so willing to pay for this as well this was the only one I knew the price of it, it was like I think 36 pounds which for being one of the only people that's actually selling these in the UK is amazing so if anybody is curious or trying to get a friendly right now the plant point is where it's at they are the only ones that I know of that are selling them and like they're huge and gorgeous oh my goodness this is stunning and I cannot wait to watch how it grows and I can even add my other one in like to this one once it's like rooted a bit more and like happier oh my goodness they're so cool I'm in love I'm in love I'm in love Oh my goodness. I love it. I should also note that I haven't seen any like sort of signs of pests on any of these things. They all seem like super healthy and luscious and there's like new growth on all of them and they all just like seem like such happy plants which is super exciting. <sighs> so I am like beyond excited about this and I cannot wait to like get these integrated into my collection of course I'm gonna quarantine as per usual but I I don't see any reasons off the top of my head right now for me to like need to do it I'm going to because that's what you're supposed to do but I don't have to I probably wouldn't have to if I didn't like really want to but yeah oh my goodness <sighs> that was such a good haul and like two Two full wishlist plants, if you count this one and the Dubia, 
two wishlist posts because I wasn't counting my other dubia as like one really yet because I'm still not sure whether or not it's going to work out but oh my gosh two wishlist plants two more jungle cacti and a succulent and moss poles and a potting mat oh my gosh also though if you're interested in buying any of these things for yourself or shopping with the plant point which I highly recommend this I'm not just saying them because they sent me these plants for free I am like over the moon with them and like their customer service is amazing and it's been so great speaking to them and all of that and they've given me a discount to share with all of you so they've given me 15% off to give to you use code good growing at the link down below and you can get a friendly for yourself or like any of these other plants and products and stuff <sighs> happy plant dance <laughs> oh oh my goodness yes okay I'm just gonna go stare at these for the next couple hours because they are beautiful. So yeah, that is it. That is what I got from the plant point. It, it's literally incredible. I am overjoyed about all of these and like I'm so glad that I'm able to share the love with you as well with that discount code. So thank you so so much plant point, the plant point for sending me these and for the discount code and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future other houseplant shops you'd like me to try out in the future let me know and don't forget to subscribe for more thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next time bye